As part of the process of backing up VMware VMs, we need to apply a thing called a backup plan to it. A backup plan consists of two components, which you can see here in backup plans, templates and profiles. The template defines important things like how often we run backups and how long we retain those backups for and when those backups actually get run. For VMware, there are three kinds of template we can create. Now you can create as many templates as you want. I've created three sample templates just to demonstrate the three sorts of template that you can generate. The first kind of template puts backups purely in the snapshot pool of the backup and recovery appliance. So in this example, you can see that I've only chosen one policy type which is the snapshot policy type, and I've created one policy. In this case, it runs from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. every day of the week and retains backups for seven days. You could add additional policies. You could have the backups run more often within the window. This is just an example. In my second example, I created a template called VMware Snap to Onvault. In this case, we do a snapshot into the snapshot pool first. So the first backup hits the snapshot pool. And then once the backup is in the snapshot pool, we then copy it into the Onvault pool. Now the snapshot policy, as in the previous example, is running once per day, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and retaining for seven days in the snapshot pool. So I've always got at least seven days worth of backups in the snapshot pool. However, in the Onvault pool, what I've done is created a three tier layer of backups. I'm doing daily backups, weekly backups and monthly backups. The daily backups run every day and retain backups for 90 days. Now that 90 days is a hint to you, which suggests that the Onvault pool in my example is on cold line class in Google Cloud Storage. If it was in near line class, then I would probably retain this instead for 30 days. So that's my daily backup running every day, keeping the backup for 90 days. And then every week on Sunday, instead of running the daily backup, I run the weekly backup and this is retained for 12 months. Again, this is purely an example. I'm just trying to show you a flavor of how you could set up your templates. And then finally, I have my monthly backup. So instead of the weekly backup every month on the first Sunday, that backup run instead of the weekly and instead of the daily will retain the backup in this example for five years. So between the three of them, I've got what looks like a traditional daily, weekly, monthly backup schedule. And all of this will be done automatically for me. The daily snapshot running every day and then it being backed up into Onvault for longer term retention. Finally, I could instead skip the snapshot pool altogether and go with direct to Onvault. Direct to Onvault effectively pushes backups straight from the production data store into the Onvault pool, which is sitting on Google Cloud Storage. In this example, I've done the same thing that I showed you before, which is that I have a daily, a weekly, and a monthly. However, you could just content yourself with the daily for 90 days. If you wanted to use Nearline, you could use daily for 30 days. It's really up to you. So there were three examples of typical templates that you could create for your VMware VM backups. One more setting that I'll show you, which is that in any of these policies, under advanced policy settings, you do have an option to set enforced retention. This prevents early deletion of backups, and you would use this setting to ensure that backups are not accidentally or intentionally deleted before they're supposed to be. You will also need to create at least one profile. Every time you add a backup and recovery appliance, you'll actually get a profile called local profile. I've actually renamed mine, and the naming is significant because the first part of the name reflects the name of the backup recovery appliance that I'm using, which is 29736, and the second reflects the name of the Onvault pool that I'm putting my backups into. So in this case, you could also note that you can have multiple Onvault pools. Now, the Onvault pools themselves are defined here in the profile. However, if you did choose to use multiple Onvault pools, you would actually define those here in the policies. The policy determines the number of the target pool, one through four, and then the profile maps that one through four through to an actual pool. One other thing you'll need to select when configuring your profile is the snapshot pool. When you go to the snapshot pool dropdown, you'll be shown two types of pools. Snapshot pools, which are used for VMware, VM, and agent-based backups, and cloud-type pools that are only used for compute engine instance backups. If you're not sure which one you're selecting, make sure you always select a snapshot-type pool. And to validate which is which, if you go to Manage Storage Pools, you can see which are snapshot type pools, which again are for your VMware VM and your agent-based backups, or cloud type pools, which are only for Compute Engine instance backups. Once you've built your backup plans, you can now go to Backup Recover Backup and begin to onboard your VMs.